Hello everyone, welcome to Whack, uh, Fucking White Comics. Today we're going to be looking at the Oliver Tree vs. Little Ricky Alien Boys graphic novel. We've also got an interview with the letterer, Justin Birch. This is probably the best you're ever going to get. The best, the best one ever. Here we go, oh. you've, seen it, you've seen it here. And we've also got an interview with the co-writer and artist, Orpheus Collar. And a full draft of it, and then we'll go over to his place and uh, with like a, basically like a printout of like the whole book. I got the Super Deluxe Edition and that came with this giant uh, slipcase graphic novel and it came with the vinyl and it came with uh, a statue that hasn't hasn't arrived yet. Fingers crossed it'll get here soon. But uh, Orpheus was saying that he hasn't even got his yet either so we're, we're all in the same boat. We'll, hopefully we'll get it soon. Just a quick size comparison for you. This is the size of a normal comic book of a gangster. You can see that it's a lot bigger than the size of your normal comic book. That was with the slipcase and this is without it. A little bonus too, mine came signed. I didn't, I didn't realise it was going to come signed, but there it is, signed by Oliver Tree. Just a little OT, but that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I didn't, didn't, something I didn't realise that was going to happen. Also came with a couple of prints. Orpheus and I uh, had a talk about the prints as well, so I'll chuck that in here as a little teaser for the interview to come. Yeah, I mean, that's Street Fighter 2, but uh, yeah, I... I, I did my, uh, it's you know, Guile and Blanca, maybe? No, Guile and Sagat, yeah, were my kind of models. But yeah, yeah I drew the uh, posters, yeah. Oh, I love these ones as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm going to do, because I have, like, extra copies. I know it's pricey, but, you know, those are, those are dolls, like paper dolls. Let's take a look at some of the interior art together here. We've got a, a forward by Little Ricky, which is really nice. This is how it starts off. I'm not gonna flip through too many of the pages because I don't want uh, I don't want to spoil it completely for you because you got to go out and pick it up for yourself and, and experience it. But I want to show you a couple of pages at least because this this comic was amazing, especially if you're an Oliver Tree fan. You gotta really appreciate some of the callbacks and uh, Easter eggs to uh, videos past and stuff like that. But even if you're not an Oliver Tree fan, you can pick it up and get into it too and be a, a good starting point, like uh, Orpheus says in, a, in the interview a little bit later. Some Easter eggs. Oh, just basically a, a straight up scene uh, from a, from a, the music video for Hurt, which is pretty fucking awesome. There's a lot of stuff like this in the book. Yeah, uh, here's a scene from the music video for Cash Machine. That's all I'll show you for that. Uh, well, I'll let you experience the others for yourself because it's it's nice uh, turning the page and seeing them and you're like, oh shit, that's from the thing. So there's also a lot of awesome stuff at the back here as well. We've got some like uh, puzzles and uh, do you see the difference between these two photos? And we've got some uh, bios on some of the different kinds of aliens. Uh, we've got an interview uh, with H3H3, H3, with uh, Little Ricky on H3H3, H3, and also on Hot Ones, uh, which we, they call Hot Sons in this. It's a really, really fun book. I highly recommend it for any Oliver Tree fan, and any anyone out there really that wants to read a fun book. The vinyl is uh, really fucking cool as well. Check out this the art for it. It really fucking pops. There's uh, some nice art on the vinyl itself too. Let me pull this out and show you. One side of the vinyl. And it's fucking beautiful. This is just like an amazing, striking image. And this is the second side of the vinyl. I'm going to chuck it on a record player so you can see it spin. Because Orpheus was saying that uh, he designed it for spinning. On, and I'll, I'll play that clip while, while we're watching it spin. I wanted to see it spin on a turn. It was designed to spin. The... Yeah, it does. It looks great when it's spinning. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it spinning in the video. People have it. Nice. Everyone will be able to see how good this looks spinning. Oh yeah, it's got some shine on it. That's unexpected. Yeah, yeah, it looks, it looks great. Nice. And this side, I don't know what side's my favorite. They they both look amazing. The, the, I yeah. like that image. Like I think it's a stronger image. I was just like yeah. thought um the the kind of round because I designed it to be like record shaped so that it could be the vinyl. They're like yep. a fight scene. Yeah. Um, so that's like inside Ricky's UFO. It's disc shaped. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, this thought, isn't like, a, a scene from the book. Yep, yeah. yeah. So I thought it would be interactive, like, what looks good spinning. And hopefully it, hopefully it looks good spinning. Uh, yeah. 
I'll I'll have a video up of it spinning as we're talking about it. Beautiful. Yeah, I did like a little. I did a little gif like to kind of make sure that it kind of works the way that I thought it would. And but seeing it for real would be awesome. Let's get into the interview with Justin Birch, the letterer from Oliver Tree versus Little Ricky, Alien Boys. I'm here with the letterer of Alien Boys, uh, Justin Birch. How you going, Justin? Uh, I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks, thanks heaps for having a chat with me, man. How, I just want to know how how was it working on Alien Boys? Uh, ooh, um, so I I hope you don't mind. I didn't want to be rude and, and canceled the interview altogether. Uh, yeah. But my my schedule is really packed, so I hope you don't mind that if I I sort of multitask while we're doing this. None at all. Mul multitask away. Okay, perfect. Uh, give me one second. All right. No worries. I didn't know that uh, letterers were good at multitasking. Uh, we're really not, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, great. What is this? Uh, uh, ironing? So, yeah, I, I, I have some like household chores that I got to get done, so I was oh. hoping... Or, I mean, I, I don't have to do it if you're not okay with it. Um, it's, it, I'm, I'm fine with it. If, if you got to do it, you got to do it, you know? Okay, okay cool. Yeah. No, no worries. Take your, take your time. Um... Yeah, I've, I've got a while. Uh, so I'm, I might just start with the first question. Uh, what what made you want to want to do the letters for Alien Boy? Uh, what made me want to do it was uh, was uh, money. Okay. Money, yeah. I uh, I have bills to pay. Yep. Money, good. Oh yeah, I. You know, I personally love working for this publisher, uh, Z2. They do all kinds of cool books. Uh, one of the coolest books uh, that I did that wasn't Alien Boys was the Sublime comic. So if you like Sublime, right. check it out. We, uh, we're not here talking about that. Next question was, what font did you use for Alien Boys? Uh, I, I honestly don't remember. Probably some comic book font. Okay. A, a comic book font. That's... Uh... That's great. Has joining Two Brothers Comics helped your career? And please give a specific incident as to why it hasn't. Uh, yeah, it, it definitely has not. If anything, it has uh, certainly gone down since I've joined up with them. Uh, that's um, that's a shame. Any uh, specific incident that you can shed light on? Uh, most recently, uh, Lexington Comic Con. Yeah, definitely, definitely Lexington Comic Con. Oh wow. Are interviews with letter is usually this boring? Uh actually I'm I'm more of the uh, uh more animated than others. So this is probably the best you're ever going to get. The best the best one ever. Here we go. Oh. You've seen it, you've seen it here. One last question before I get into a bit of a this or that type thing. What could you do to make your job more interesting so I could ask better questions and make this interview overall more enjoyable to watch? Well, I'd like to point out that there's definitely nothing that I could do to make uh, myself better. Uh, it's it's definitely all on your end. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I should try hard. I, maybe I can try harder next time. If there is a next time, hopefully there isn't. Uh, I mean, I've I've I got a lot of shirts to iron, even though I've only been doing this one. So yeah. you know, I'm open in the future. I've got a couple of uh, this or that questions for you. So it's just uh, you can choose one or the other. And we'll we'll try to get through them as quickly as possible, so we can you can get back to ironing. Um, Oliver Tree or Little Ricky? Oh wow, that's actually the first great question I've heard you uh, ask today. Uh, Little Ricky. Little Ricky. Oh wow. Uh, bowl cut or mullet? <laughs> okay, I take back my previous comment. This is definitely the best question. Oh wow. Uh, I'm going to go with mullet. Scooter or jet ski? Scooter. Scooter. That's an easy one. All right. Joint or vape? Uh, ooh. Joint. Okay. Uh, golden teeth or cavities? Uh, golden teeth. Definitely golden teeth. Yep. Yep. Uh, diamond ring or limousine? Lim lim limousine. limousine. No, no, yeah, limousine. Limousine. Limousine, yeah. Uh, eagle beak or ostrich feet? 
Eagle Beak. Okay, and lastly, overrated or somehow played out? Overrated. Overrated. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Uh, well, that's that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you so much for your time. Do you want to let people know uh, where they can find you if, if you want them to find you? Uh, yeah, sure. If you want to find me, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Justin Birch. Or is it J. Justin Birch? Uh, one of those two is me. Just whichever picture looks like me without a beard is me. So, uh, yeah. Oh, how will they know what you look like without a beard? Uh, just Photoshop this this image without a beard. Just. Oh, I can do that. I can definitely do that. Uh, I'll put that image up right here. Yeah, there uh, you go. That's me. They there you go. Thank, thank you again uh, for your time. Um, keep on uh, lettering comics. Oh, wait, I can't believe I forgot one question. This was the most important question. Uh, do numbers cost extra? Uh, n no, numbers do not cost extra. They're the same as letters. Okay. Uh, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I got that one out there. I'm glad I didn't forget it. Uh, thank you again. Oh, hey, thanks for letting me uh, get some work done around here. No worries. It's a... A good chat. That was, uh, that was something. Let's get into the interview with Orpheus Collar. This is half of the interview. Uh, the, the interview that I did with him was over 20 minutes long, so that's going to be another video coming soon. But enjoy this in the meantime. There you go, man. What's going on? Good, how are you? You weren't kidding about the bowl cut. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I really got the bowl cut. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get rid of this wig. Yeah, so uh, talking about Alien Boys today. I saw that you, you tried to retire from comic books in 2000, around 2019, but Alien Boys drew you back in. Oliver drew me back in, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was super exciting uh, work on kind of an original story about uh, trials and tribulations of one man's uh, uh, journey through the arts business. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, I found that I, it spoke to me when Oliver told me kind of his vision for it. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so came out of retirement. Uh, and uh, it was pretty – it was a ton of fun. So, <laughs> What was it? Was it like uh, collabing with Oliver on it? So did uh, you write it together? Yeah. So yeah. Um, he, we'd worked together on like a few video projects, um, and he kind of had a vision for his music videos, like that they all connected as one story. Um, which to me, I was like, it seemed like they're all different worlds, but when he kind of strung it together and there's aliens and every time he dies in a music video, which is every music video, uh, you know, that he's then abducted and then fixed up and whatnot. So that was kind yeah. of the, the kernel. He kind of told me broad strokes and then I went and drew it out really quickly. Um, between meetings, I guess. Um, and there's some stuff like he had ideas that the, the aliens were all like really, really small because he plays with scale a lot in his work. Um, and like, I didn't, you know, that's one detail that I didn't remember. I mean, obviously, little Ricky's uh, pretty big. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, but um, so we kind of had it back and forth. So I would kind of do a full draft or an outline and then a full draft of it and then go to his place and uh, with like a basically like a printout of like the whole book at the different stages. Oh, that's um, amazing. And then we kind of run through it and then, uh, you know, if he had like notes, we'd, we'd do it and, um, you know, run through the dialogue and he'd think of funnier phrasings and whatnot for whatever I'd thrown in there, like placeholder dialogue. Yeah. Um, and uh, up, to, up to the fight, uh, Little Ricky and Oliver's fight. So, you know, that was like, okay, well, what kind of movies are you into? What kind of choreography? Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that was that was kind of the process. It was very back and forth. Probably did like six passes or maybe more, where I'd go over there and run through the whole thing and figure out how we can make it better. I didn't realize it came signed. This one came signed by Oliver. Oh, beautiful! I had no idea it was gonna be. 
I wish it came signed by you as well. That would have been oh, that yeah. would have made. <laughs> they didn't give me the signing cards. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. I saw that um on on your Instagram that you worked on the um, Life Goes On music video, and it, and it was originally the music video for Jerk. It was that. Yeah, the, working on the music videos is kind of interesting because, like, yeah, sometimes the music switches from like when I boarded it, um, or when I when I work with it, I'm on it. You know, it's like all about the vision of the video, and then um, you know sometimes sometimes it switches up uh for, for various reasons but um i don't have much uh I, yeah i guess on and on got like the bigger push um yeah as a song yeah. and it's taken off so that's that's pretty awesome yeah have we you got, worked on any other other ones some of that in here yeah oh uh, that was one of my favorite things with the book was all the easter eggs to the music video and so i really appreciated all that kind of stuff you know it's like if you're an oliver tree fan and have seen everything you know, like everything is in there yeah yeah uh because yeah i love the videos that's how i kind of came into it i was working on yeah. a lot of videos and then um i guess google changed my algorithm or whatever so it's like fresh music or whatever. i saw this little thumbnail oliver with his head blown off and from yeah. Hurt, yeah, I was like, this is awesome this is crazy i've never you know nobody else is doing anything quite like this and he doesn't even have like the ski jacket on too much oh and i loved like riding scooters razor scooters like that was my transportation in like college and stuff so uh, <laughs> yeah. so it's like yes yes i'm all about this and then he's making the world's largest and, and all that so um i think it gives a lot of like replay value uh to the videos hopefully i Unfortunately, like I think with the online model, it's like you already know what you're getting into when you're getting it, like as opposed to finding in a bookstore and like, what's this? And then being interested in picking it up. Yeah. But even for those people that like aren't aware of Oliver, you know, I think it's like a good introduction and um, for sure. Uh, and would make you curious. And then you'd get a lot of rewards checking yeah. out all of his discography and, and whatnot. So, um, and little little Ricky's as well. Uh, there was that little interview at the back with little Ricky saying that you you've left him out of the of the collab once once you got in involved. What happened there? Yeah, you know. Uh, well, me and Oliver had a good thing going, and Ricky's got a lot of ideas, and uh, you know, some of them are good. You try to listen as much as you can, but uh, you know, some of it can be impractical to implement. So um, it's kind of an over overbearing presence at times in the writing studio. Yeah, and he's always trying to play his mixtape and make us listen to it, and nobody wants to listen to that. So it's uh, nobody wants to listen to it. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, it hasn't been picked up yet by any major label. So he's he's still trying. I, I think Rick, you'll get there, but uh, yeah, I mean, Oliver doesn't even want to listen to it in the in the book. So is there any other um, music videos that you've done with Oliver? Or is it just that uh, life goes on? uh yeah i can't speak too much about what he's coming out with in the future near future but uh yeah uh, i did another video uh, i guess we started on cash machine and i've done a lot of design work for him for between that and uh now um and it's just yeah like whenever he wants to send us when he wants to post it announce do that release the videos so there's more more yeah. stuff coming out that you're working on. That's awesome. Yeah, although I think officially he is retired. So yeah, officially. officially. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like the it was opened at the end almost for for a follow up. Do you do you think that could ever be a possibility? Another um, Alien Boys comic book or another Oliver Tree uh, collaboration in in the form of a graphic novel? Yeah, um, Cowboys and Alien Tears book two uh he's uh he's a cowboy now so um well yeah i mean it's possible it, it depends on how well this one does and how much people are like asking for it i guess uh and then um if ricky does get his label you know if he does get a record deal going um for his mixtape maybe we could do something I'm, I'm open to it but uh yeah but yeah that was that was the idea was to kind of set it up. It's the story of basically his rise between being created and uh, uh, coming out with his album and retiring, um, but leaving kind of winks and nods to 
where he's going, um, where they're going. That's awesome. Well, you heard it, everyone. Go buy, go buy it right now, and tell everyone we need more because there's more to come. We we need we need oh, this. Buy, yeah. Go uh, buy it. Order at. No, I guess it's not pre-order. Order at Z Two Comics or Z2 Amazon Comics. or yeah, it's... better bookstores everywhere. We got a lot of meaning games in the back. Uh, got the Lost on Earth fun maze and the um, the Easter egg hunt. Uh, so yeah, once once the figurines out and everything is like completely available, I, I, I expect to have a, a contest for those things. Uh, <laughs> oh, awesome! Little like art giveaways and whatnot. Anything else you want to say? Um, it's, why don't you tell the the people where they can find you and stuff like that on the social oh, media, yeah. your website and stuff? Yep, uh, OrpheusArtist.com. Um, I generally update it when I have a book, a new book out. So that's maybe once a year. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you want to, um, uh, yeah, if uh, you want more more up to date stuff, uh, uh, Instagram uh, at Orpheus Collar, O R P H E U S C O L L A R. Um, yeah, I'm around. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Cool. I'll have all those links in the uh, description as well to make it easier uh, to find. Uh, thank you. Thank you for. Uh, the kind words and uh plugging it and um yeah if anybody wants more bye bye